After back-to-back -back winning days to start the week, disappointing two and three yesterday here on the Power Five, but never fear, four Major League Baseball plays for you on Thursday, including a couple daytime winners. Plus, I've got something for you in tonight's NFL preseason game between the Eagles and Patriots. Let's get right into it. As a reminder, you can always smash that like button if you're in agreement with me on these, or if you just want to support the show in general, appreciate that. Uh, number one, A's first five run line versus the Mets. Let's try this again. Should be close to even money and getting that plus half a run in the first five here with the visitors. Obviously, our plan Oakland did not work out last night. Peterson better than expected yet again for the Mets. He's now allowed two runs or less in 10 of 13 starts, despite averaging 4.3 walks per nine innings. Don't understand it at all. But today, and this is a day game, 110 Eastern, first pitch. Uh, I'm confident that the A's can get to another lefty, that being Jose Quintana, who has a 4.91 expected ERA and a 4.50 XFIP. Quintana gave up five runs in six and two-thirds last time out, never good, and it was against the Mariners, a light-hitting team. The A's, remember, are number one against lefties in WRC Plus since July 1st. They're also 16-11 and 11 last 27 games overall, 6-1-1 one one their last eight series. No Brent Rooker in the lineup, He's on the paternity list. Congratulations to him. Uh, it's a bit of a concern having Rooker uh, out of the lineup. But A starter Mitch Spence, I'm counting on him to do his job as well. He should keep the Mets' bats in check. He's allowed two earned runs or less in four consecutive outings, has Spence. So Oakland first five run line plus a half is the play there. Number two, Giants first five team total over one and a half. This is around minus 130. Really drilling down. I'm getting specific here as I want to fade Brave starter Max Freed. Freed's a lefty. That's the Giants' preferred split. They are sixth in WRC this season against Southpaws compared to just 21st versus righties. On top of that, Freed does not look good at all since returning from the IL. He continues to walk more batters than what we're accustomed to seeing from him. And as a result, he's allowed 10 runs in just eight and a third. His last two starts, that was against Colorado and Miami, guys, the two worst teams in the National League. The Giants should be heavily motivated today. They lost 13-2 to last night and are looking to avoid a four-game sweep at home. Number three, Nats Phillies over eight. Why would I be betting it over in a game involving Zach Wheeler? Especially considering Nats starter Mitchell Parker hasn't allowed a single earned run his last two starts. Regression, baby. Uh, also, the Phillies remain one of the highest scoring home teams in MLB. 5.25 runs per game. Parker has a much worse ERA and whip on the road compared to at home. So I think his scoreless inning streak is certainly coming to an end here, uh, probably pretty early. I also think the Nats can score enough uh, off Wheeler and the Phillies bullpen to help this one get over the number of eight. Number four, Twins Rangers. Two outstanding starting pitchers here going by recent form. Bailey Ober for Minnesota, Cody Bradford for Texas. I'm siding with Bradford, though. The Rangers are 5-1 and one with him on the mound this season. Bradford has a sub-1 whip. Looked very good against the Yankees last time out. He held them to one run in five innings with seven strikeouts. No Correa, possibly no Buxton in the Twins lineup today. So uh, that's a, a key. I think that should help Bradford, obviously. I just don't think the Rangers should be a dog at home here, guys. This is a play mostly based on price. These are two, uh, I still consider Minnesota a little bit better in the power ratings, but I don't think they should be a favorite here in Arlington, not with the way Bradford's pitched of late. So play Texas on the money line in this one. Uh, before I get to the NFL play, just want to remind you about that special offer going on at wagertalk.com. Seven days for $69. Normally, it would cost you $69 to get three days of service. So this is like getting four additional plays or four additional days, pardon me, uh, of service free of charge. I keep talking about it. Soccer's right around the corner, okay? I ended, la I threw the Euro Cup and Copa America, 33-14-2 and two run on the pitch for me. You, you go back to the end of the last Premier League season, I was on an 8-0 EPL run. Finished number one in net units in EPL last season at Wager Talk. Number one in net units in La Liga. Number one in Serie A. You're going to see those soccer plays for this weekend start to pop up on my page, wt.buzz slash bp today. Can't wait for it. Also, don't forget that 5% college football win total I already have available. I've been giving out college football win totals all summer long here on the Power 5 and on Wager Talk today. Various shows on Wager Talk TV, but 
This is my favorite. I've been saving it a 5% max bet. I'm 70% with 5% college football plays going back to the bowl season of 2022. All right. Last but not least, let me give you something to bet on in tonight's lone NFL preseason game, Eagles-Patriots. This was a Super Bowl matchup a few weeks ago, or a few years ago, a few weeks ago. What am I thinking? Uh, I am very high on Philly coming into the 2024 season. That's what I'm thinking. Uh, while New England, well, they're probably going to end up with the worst record in the league. Both teams did win their respective preseason openers. Looking at the Wages Talk odds screen, we've seen steady line movement here. Uh, towards both the Pats and the over. I'm going to follow the money and take New England team total over 19 and a half. You can find that at DraftKings around minus 105. Uh, by the way, Teddy Covers strikes again. He got uh, DraftKings to rescind that, tack, that uh, tax that they were talking about uh, that I, when I was on Wager Talk today a couple weeks ago. Anyway, back to the game. Eagles, they're not playing anyone of significance while the Pats... Under a first-year coach, they still have a lot to prove, guys. I think they go up and over their team total of 19 and a half. Let's now recap today's Power 5. Number one, A's first five plus a half run uh, on the run line versus the Mets. Number two, Giants first five team total over one and a half. Three, Nats Phillies over eight. Four, Rangers money line against the Twins. And five, New England Patriots team total over 19 and a half. You can let me know what you think of those selections by commenting down below. Also, if you haven't given us that thumbs up, smash that like button. How about doing it right now? Uh, seven days for $69. That special offer, got to take advantage of it. It won't be available for long. And if you're not already subscribed to the Wage Talk YouTube channel, make sure you do that now. You click the bell for instant alerts. It's not just the Power 5 that I do every day. Morning Wager every Monday through Friday with my good buddy, Mark Zinno as well. I'll talk to you again tomorrow. Until next time, let's cash some tickets.